Hey guys, Zord here. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy XI video. We're going to be doing some Nizul Isle. Figure I got the Einhar Therian Icker all done. You know, 100,000 of that. And then I had about 60,000 Nizul Isle tokens, whatever we're calling them. Make sure we're moving here. Let's just start heading over. So you head over to the salt area. Speak with the Galka on the you know far back on the left. Then you take Nizul Isle investigation. Come in here. We're gonna get a tag here. Salt band command verification is confirmed. Received those credits. So haven't done it for a while. I did uh you know originally they had like a campaign going on with new Nizul Isle and then did that for like two days straight so I could get the first pulse weapon. The hand to hand, and then it's a big, big boost, but don't end up using it. So let's see here. Waking the Colossus. Now we're going to start Nizul Isle investigation. So just enter here. See how we do it. Haven't been in here for a while. So make sure we're ready to go. So we're going to try normal Nizul Isle investigation. We're going to try to warp up to floor 96. Now we're going to need to get 10 floors. If we can do 10 floors, then we'll start earning more than if we would have started at like floor one or something. So let's see if we're able to do that. So we're going to have different objectives going through. Uh, I'll say I'm going to eliminate the specific enemies and you check them. See uh, what they're, if they like con, like they're a notorious monster. Let's just move this out of way just in case you can see it. All right. So we're going to head in here. And rune of transfer. Let's see here. Select a floor number. So we're going to pick over here floor 96. We got to spend 1900 tokens. You have to have already gotten to floor 100. You know, probably had done it in the past or, you know, maybe do it, get your item. So eliminate the specified enemy. So we're just move around. We're going to be. Running around now, we could uh, could have had like sneak up or something. So we need to just check these enemies. We really want to get the specified. That one says easy prey, so that's not it. Okay, and we're just getting. We're just gonna keep running. This this stray Mary. Well, that's a NM, so that's not it. Incredibly easy prey. Uh, it won't be one of the notorious monster ones. It'll be like a normal mob that that checks. Impossible to gauge. So, and then you're gonna have to find that type of enemy and then eliminate all the same type of enemy as that one. Here we got, what's this? I just keep checking bouncing balls, that's not it. Specify one enemy, we're right back here. So that was the wrong way to go. We're already wasting time here to check our timer. You got 30 minutes, right, to do it. And if you don't finish and exit the floor, you're gonna lose all the points, all that time. So obviously better. Got another Stray Mary on us. Can never find Stray Mary in the Highlands and they're just taunting us. What's going on? We're just taking the wrong, where? Where's this? Eliminate the specified enemy. I guess, I guess it was Stray Mary and we're just screwing it up. There's a moose. There it is. It's this guy here. Is it possible to gauge? So you're just gonna subduction. I didn't even have to engage him. I don't know why I did that. All right, so just we kind of passed him up. Back to the transfer rune. We were right next to it. We could have did that already. We sh we should have just got rid of these guys all at once. Wasting time over here. All right, so back to the rune of transfer, and you can exit or travel to the floor. Floor on the right. Floor on the left. Just picking random one. You're gonna be going up. So, okay, to get eliminate specified enemies, what we got here? Enemies, as works out as I was saying it. So, now we're gonna have to find one that's impossible to gauge like that and then uh, eliminate all the same. It's gonna be these Porigo right here because we already know it's gonna be them. So, just subduction. All three of them is usually four, four of them all. Oh, and they're magically resistant. Over there, just make sure we got our little battery charge going. So you're gonna need one more of those Porigo. So we just keep going here, make sure we're moving quick enough. 
it's not going to be the tiger or that, so we'll head back. You know, if you're doing new new nice while, you know, you want to get those NMs because you if they're having a campaign or something, could be getting some pretty good items. You know, maybe Tom Tit Tat. There we go. That's the one we want. This guy right there. We're just going to come over here. Spectral flow them just to make sure everything dies here in one shot. And it didn't because the frogs are surviving. So is Tom Tit Tat over there. All right. So, objective. Okay, that's four of them. I have to keep going. I didn't see the. There must be five of those, hey? We're back over here. We're, we're messing it up. Get moving. Tiger, what's going on here? Do, do we not see it? Went through here. Oh, okay. Must have been hiding behind that manacore. Let's head back through. Just make sure. Make sure, uh, you know, we didn't miss a message or something. Nope, we still gotta eliminate specified enemies. And this would be two floors, so we're gonna end up not getting them 10, it looks like then. You could get, uh, okay, there, it was right there too, we could, we could have had it. So just do the same thing, just a couple of these on them. The magically resistant frogs. All right, so floor 97, objective is complete. Head back to room to transfer now. You can also get uh, where you need to eliminate the uh, specific. You get lamp floors, it's always the one everybody loves, that's their favorite. Um, just head over, light a lamp, boom, you're done. You can also get a free floor, so travel to the next floor. We're gonna get, and you can also just get where you activate a lamp, it'll light up, activate another one, and then you know, one, two, three, five of them. Okay, so and then it'll activate. So we want to eliminate all enemies. Now we just need to come through here, just have them just come on us, come and get some. So you know, and then you just keep going, light them all up. You can also get one where you get the light them at the same time. So you'll have to just kind of know where they're at. Light them up, run to the next one. We we're supposed to avoid. Okay, we got do not destroy our chaotic gear. So they're going to get in our way. And we're going to end up destroying them. Because we're going to need to eliminate all these enemies right now. And it's just going to take too long. Single target. So now we got, we got a, a penalty because we destroyed those gears. So you got weapon skill damage down. And I thought you, oh that's right, Puck. Pucks don't like or they like the wind damage. You can't can't kill them. They just gain their health back. So it's, there's gotta be more of them out there. There's more of them over here. Another one. Is this it? Last one. Alright, so where oh let's just just hit it. See how long it if you had to sit there and attack them. You know, we gotta sit and engage each one. But there we go, we got the objective complete. And 98, so then uh, when you're normally heading through, it's gonna be every 20 floors, you'll fight a boss. So we started on floor 96. And then, you know, when we get to 100, we'll be fighting the level 100 boss that drops your what, body piece normally, which we don't need, and we don't need the new one, but and head up and after that it'll you know keep going like it's floor one so travel to the next floor because should be good on time should have made a note of what time we entered so but uh you'll be gaining you know a little bit more points for floor because you start off with like 200 points per floor what do we got here 
So we want to eliminate specified enemies and avoid discovery by our chaotic gear. So if you had like a ranged weapon, you could just throw a ranged weapon. Like I could have brought some pebbles and pull a little gear. So we want to eliminate specified enemies. So we check this. It's not going to be these crabs because it's not a specified. What about this guy? Cool shit. Oh, that's a easy prey. It's going to be these chariots right here. So we'll just let him come after us. I thought. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to avoid discovery by that archaic gear. And we'll just kill this guy over here. So chariots will be one of the specified enemies. And, you know, it should be four of them also. So we'll have to go find three more chariots. And just keep moving. And we want to avoid that discovery get you know, time penalty there before we got uh, weapon skill restriction. Weapon skill damage down, oh no. A rampart, there's another gear over there. Here we got another chariot, there we go. And should just let it just keep coming after us. We'll just try to get all of them. Oh, there's two of them. I believe it's we're gonna need more than two yeah there's three of them so we need one more of them there was no other exits here right there was over this way oh we got a gear over there though so kind of messing us up you want to avoid the discovery as you can just really shouldn't even bother doing it should have like a magic attack boost it has twice over here on these guys I guess that was it there's three of them there so good thing we did that and so I head back to the lamp and I will be fighting the, the boss the big bad boss is big gear over the right don't get me And right now I'm locked in for the Nagi, um, but you know I already got the Kikoku, and then don't even use that because I end up using the Ambuscade Sword with the you know Hataki uh, TP bonus. And but you know there's a time when it definitely is like, yep, they're gonna make it. So since you couldn't get those relic weapons, this is the, the way that people will be able to maybe spend a while and get one. I did salvage like a year about every day and then I guess we just we can just melee this guy down hold on here so did the salvage every day and then got like four out of five for the Usukane and four out of five for the uh, Scotty you know like gotta get that last get the Scotty body uh, you no, know, had to, you had to kill like all the gears. So you had um, guys on thief, making sure not to get aggroed by the gears. Oh, I guess this taste taking too long over there. Come on, die! All right, so we got floor one, you know, and then range attack them without getting. You get all the way to the end. So also, you, here you get kill this guy. Whatever job you're on, it's gonna give you the the weapon for that white slayer so that's our whoop, wrong way we wanted to head across this way right to where we, where are we setting in so lost go back to the rune now whatever job you enter on is gonna you're gonna get that so if you want a specific weapon that you're having trouble getting you want you know go on that job so we're gonna keep going travel to the next floor we need to get five more floors and we'll be able to have like a little more bonus points that we'll be getting in our so here we go the dreaded we got activate all lamps so and they just run around find them. like here's a lamp maybe it's just one activate it did we hit it we canceled so activate all lamps maybe, maybe it's just this one okay it didn't light up so it's there's more than this one i lit up but we gotta just keep going until it gives us the message so we just keep moving, running along, find them other lamps. How many? It could be probably three of them. Uh, 
how about probably two of them would be good, right? You know, he could. You know, oh no, I gotta remember to way back to the rune of transfer too. So here's this would be two of them. Hopefully we can activate it before we get hit. All right, not yet. I gotta keep going. Here's another one right here. So activate it and should get a message. There we go. Floor one, objective complete. So, you know, it says floor one, but we're really on floor 101. But we just head on back through. Got to kind of pay attention, you know, like north, south, east, west, whatever, up, down, left, right, whichever way you're coming through from the rune. And I think, I think I went the opposite way. There we go. Okay, so that's our other lamp we hit, so head back in here to the rune. Oops, the wrong way. Head back over here to the rune, hopefully get there and go up the floor before this moose comes and attacks us. Oh, come on, I hit it. I hit it. Door on the left, keep going. So let's try to get, uh, oh, we'll go for 11 floors, cause whatever. Uh, eliminate the enemy leader. So now it's gonna be, gonna be, uh, you know, like a soul flayer type, or, uh, whoa, look out for that. Let's say, okay, do not destroy the archaeotic gears. Um, it'd be like a, one of the, come on, show it. Don't destroy the gears. Oops, oh, that's not good. Enemy leader, you know, it'd be like a notorious monster, but you know, not a normal one you would have expected to see in there. You know, it'd be like a different type of one of like the Ad Ergen, like Colonel Custard with the mustard. Don't get flustered, the Bomb King. That's just, you know, it's a checks is impossible to gauge, but you know, there's already a Bomb King, so that's not it. So we keep going on through. There's our rune of transfer, so if we would have went this way, this would be the way. This is the way. So there's our guy right there. Gem Heiser Ruru Rune. There's subduction on him. Make sure you don't run away on us. And I guess we could just help. Oh, well, we're going to be killing some stuff. So we got potential token reward reduced twice because we killed those gears. So uh, I don't probably want to single target or some of them, but... Floor two is completed, and we got something on us, this little spider. So probably, you know, whip out like magic hammer or something. Single target it. Travel to the next floor. Let's see where we're at. So we're at what, like 15, 20 minutes so far, something like that, I'm gonna guess. All right, so activate all lamps again. We keep getting these lamp floors. Luckily, well, there's an M. Luckily, it's not activate them. Well, we don't know. We don't know until we got the lamp, so, you know. Oh, oh no. I wanted that Suzuki Katana. I, sh I thought we had inventory. I was, gonna, I was thinking of was switching and doing that one. Well, we may have to come back as, as a, okay, there's a lamp. We got all these guys. I don't know our inventory is that full of junk. Light crystals. We lost the Suzuki Katana. Actually, I probably have it in storage, I think. Um, where's this this thing at? Come on. Get off the lamp. Oh, whatever. I'll just get rid of this guy. Yep, he's gonna bug us, so let's, let's kill this rampart. Get the Alexandrite. And you know, you're gonna need 150,000. And so, activate the lamp and complete. Give me, give me the oh, same time again. So, we're gonna need to go to all, all the other ones. You know, if we get 10 floors, just start getting like about the to go from one floor one to 10, you get like the 2,000 points. Okay, we got another NM right over there bugging us. See if we can just activate it. 
Trying to hit it. It's just a little slow. Okay, keep going. Um, so you get, you know, 2,000 points for the floor. It was 1 through 10. I had to spend 1,900 points just to warp up. You know, so if we if we time out, then we end up losing 2,000. But if we can do 10 floors, getting that, you know, every five or every every uh, five floors, get like five more per floor. So you know, start getting the bonuses on the floor. So after 10 floors, then you know we'll start getting like 500 about extra total. I thought we did this one. Oh, that's where this guy was blocking us. All right, give us the completed. There we go. Rune objectives complete. Need to get at least the two more. So we're gonna try. Hopefully, get three more you now before we time out. But we didn't. You know, and we're getting like you know five, seven thousand. Maybe we can get. We're going really efficient. Okay, this guy's just coming after us. We're, we're gonna probably have to just kill it. Here, yeah, he's gonna bug us. So just blind them, Folgers. All right. So travel to the floor on the left, floor to the right, and let's see what we get. You need the 150,000. So we're on floor four. Oh, we gotta eliminate all enemies, okay. It's gonna start coming, get them all on us. But they won't, they won't come after us though, will they? Nope. We've rare, just so calm over there. All right, he's gonna chase us. Now, so looking, you know, if we do it here, I can do it all in like ten runs. If we get a bunch, so we got, hey, we got an ambuscade primer too. Okay, it's we need more enemies. Eliminate all of them. And you can also, if you're like doing that, look around. You can not use wide scan. So just keep going, keep moving. You want to have like a obviously the movement speed up. This, this guy's not going to come after us. We need these mobs that aggro us. There's a couple of them there. And all right. Four objectives complete, and then we head back. All right, so here we are. Travel to the next floor. All right, what do we get? You can also get a free floor. Okay, uh, enemy leader. So let's go find one of them oddly named NM. Notorious leaders. Where could he be? So I got uh, over like 320,000 of the shoal little points over there. So I'm gonna have to finish those guys off. You know, kind of, kind of didn't didn't do it because not sure if I'm gonna get hit with the timber, lose that XP on warrior, but you know. What the heck? Let's do it. Um, well, where there he is? This guy right there. I don't. I don't think that's a regular NM, right? Gear Carlin. Oh, apparently it is. That wasn't the leader. Had to keep going. Keep looking for him. Well, let's just run by this guy because nope. This is not the way. There he is. This guy right there, yep, Soul Flare. Everybody's favorite type enemy. Okay. Could have probably did a little magic boost on him there, but I always have to do a couple of these on him, so. Air Floor 5 is complete. Make sure the slow moving skeleton doesn't chase us down. And then we'll run back to the rune of transfer. Transfer us back. And we'll transfer to floor six. Did we go the right way? 
Oh, I don't think I did. Oh no. Gotta use the little compass and make make a note of you know which way we're already going up and down and I just seeing this skeleton so that's what screwed me up there. Alright, he's gonna cast some bile. I think I can head up, we can do at least this next floor, hopefully travel to the next floor. There we go. All right, so now it's gonna be all profit here. Give us the easy one, specified enemy, and let them be right, right here. So we can go right up again. Is it this guy? Incredibly easy prey, so that's not it. And just keep going, looking for him. What will we get? Leshy. That's not it and oh it does go through there no you used to have to kind of run through this have like dance or sub or you know be sneaking around through them we got five minute warning so we're probably gonna want to finish this floor and an exit so we don't get like a bad next floor so a bad eye is he the is he the bad bad eye there you go he's possible to gauge let's make sure we got that magic attack boost here and we'll just blind everybody, blind the bad eye. And, oh, that, that's not it. it. That wasn't it. Keep going, find that specified regular enemy. What am I doing? That's not a NM. So like, okay, there's a puck. He's easy prey. We want to find like a normal mob. It's going to check as possible to gauge the puck trap here. Another easy prey. Now we're down to like four minutes. We gotta find the, that enemy. Check, just, you know, check them. There it is. That's the one. That is the one. So I guess we'll finish it off with the spectral flow. There we go. That just do 33,000. All right, so. Floor six, objective complete. And so, you know, there's 11 floors. You know, it could probably be about average. You could get, you know, a little worse if you get the, the bad lamp floor in order. And, you know, you gotta kind of run back and forth, check in your order, but you know, you wanna light it up, make a note of which order, which, you know, which order you lit them in. And then when you get to the last one, they'll all light up and then the ones that were correct in the correct order will stay lit. So then, you know, if the first one stays lit, you know, start with that one again. If it if it doesn't, you're going to want to start with one of the ones that didn't stay lit. And then, you know, then that one. And then the other ones. And then finish off. Get those Nizul tokens. Upgrade that magical wand, whatever you're going for. Um, right now we're on... You know, the Nagi path, we're gonna exit the assault area. Yes, and then, you know, before you turn in your Alexandroid and stuff for the mythic weapon quest, you know, we can actually swap weapons. You know, you can say like cancel it and then, you know, before you turn it in. But you know, once you start trading it, you're kind of locked in because otherwise you'll lose all that Alexandroid. But there we go. So we got 4603 tokens. Not really, not too good because we had to spend the 1900 to do it. You know, if we if we'd have got like every floor after that, we'd start getting about 500 per floor. So if you got like, obviously want to either just do it like that slowly, do want to run a day or you know, team up. So anybody want to do some nice a while? I'll see you in the next. Final Fantasy video.